the agency that administers Louisiana's food stamps says the state lawmakers are putting the benefits at risk in their latest budget plan. The Department of Children and Family Services is sounding the alarm on day two of the legislative session. Local 33's Harrison Golden is at the Capitol with a recap. Hi there. Well, if Monday's State of the State address by Governor John Bell Edwards was a parade of budget fixes, Tuesday's hearing at the House Appropriations Committee was a look at looming hurdles, particularly when it comes to administering food stamps in the coming year. DCFS Secretary Marquita Walters says her agency needs 13 million more dollars to keep SNAP going in Louisiana. Without it, she says, the program ends. There's no way to say we're going to fund this many people on SNAP and not that many. So the program either exists for everybody or it doesn't exist at all. Now, it's worth note that food stamps are federally funded, but administering them still requires state funds. And while the House Republican budget proposal would keep DCFS funds as they were last year, mandated costs have risen. Walters says failure to allocate enough would give her little choice but to bow the state out of SNAP. It's not because that program is not valuable or worthy or desperately needed across the state. It is a mathematical equation. Some 850,000 Louisianans got food stamps last year, and while Walters says she thinks lawmakers will end up keeping the program afloat, the uncertainty involved highlights lingering hunger at an agency that for years, she says, has been no stranger to cuts. Louisiana is a state that rejoices in food and celebrates food and festivals almost every weekend of the, of the world. And so nobody wants to cut this program. It just is, it shows the dire consequences of not having enough money to fund basic needs in the federal government. Lawmakers still do have some time to ease the food stamp funding concerns. The state's income forecasting panel will be meeting Wednesday morning to decide if the state can recognize enough revenue to keep state programs going. At the Capitol, for your local election headquarters, I'm Harrison Golden.